Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Final Fantasy IX. In between episodes, I went back to the Chocobo's Lagoon and dug up three additional Chocographs. So we have a total of 20 of those now. Uh, today we're going to go visit some past locations like Trino and Alexandria. And we're actually going to go to a new place off in a distant island. After that, we're going to start digging up all the Chocographs that we have. And there's a few additional treasure spots that we can get. I'm not sure if we're going to get around to those this episode, but we'll see. So let's start this episode off by giving uh, the Queen Stella here the Sagittarius Stelazio that we found. Pretty sure this is the only one we have gotten uh, from the last time we were here. Almost positive, actually. What do we get for this? 20,000 gil? That's pretty decent. Yeah, we don't have any more. All right, another thing we want to do in Trino is go to the auction hall because there's two more items for us to get. Today's items are hopefully what I'm looking for. Not it. Not it. Promise string, yes. And these club. So we want the last two items. The acclaim promise ring. So we don't actually have to buy one of these right now. We're going to find one in the not so distant future. But I'm going to buy it anyways, just to get it out of the way. It's going to cost us a pretty penny, as you can tell. But, uh, you know, if you don't get it now, that's fine. We're going to get one in the future. You definitely want to get the Thief Gloves, though, because that will teach Zidon an amazing ability, which will actually increase his steal rate for the super rare items. Oh, yeah, one more. Here we go. So you know how, like... The fairy flute, we were trying for the fairy flute a while back. We never got it. Uh, when we get the Thief's Gloves, we'll get the ability that pretty much reduces the the stale chance from the absurd number, the rare and ultra rare, I forget the exact, or semi-rare and rare uh, stales to like one-eighth of a chance, which is so much better than what it is right now. So we definitely want to get that and probably actually work on that Instead of the Rebirth Ring, I have the Rebirth Ring on him right now. I don't know if that's actually going to be... I mean, we don't have a boss encounter for a little while. Then again, I don't know how much combat I'm going to be actually be getting in uh, for a couple <laughs> episodes. Because, yeah, it's like a whole bunch of story cutscene stuff happening. And then it's like side quest treasure hunting time. Stop bidding on it. I want to buy these Thieves Gloves. Jesus. Yes, I know you just heard that. Go on and say it. Say it. Yes. Snipe that bid. You! You purple-hatted son of a gun. Yes. Don't do it. Don't do Yeah, you're damn right. Man, that was a lot of money. Eh, it was not that much. All right. So, what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to go back to Alexandria. So, I'll meet you on my Chocobo. All right. So, there are actually two ways for us to get back into Alexandria. Let's bring up my map here. As you can see there, there's an Alexandria Harbor. We can bring our boat down there and sail into it, and we'll be able to enter the town from there. Or we can go over here, where Alexandria itself is. So let's use our chocobo because I actually prefer using the chocobo towards uh, like to the ship. I don't know why. Just I don't. Maybe it's just the old Final Fantasy fanboy in me that just really likes chocobos instead of the freaking ship. But yeah, here's Alexandria. You can see the top has been blown, well, straight off, and the harbor should be like right down here. So yeah, you just park your ship in there, and you'll end up in the harbor. I think we saw the harbor earlier in the game. All right, let's, can I, hmm, which side do I need to enter on? Well, I think I can walk around either way, just, I don't want to mess it up. And again, actually, why, why would we, why do we end up there? Do we not have the main fountain? Wow, we don't have the fountain area anymore. I don't think I ever really noticed that before. Hey, Grandma, I was almost finished with Ilias clothes. Well, that's what you get for taking so long. What do we get here? We get a sapphire. That's good to grab. There's a bunch of new treasure around here, so definitely be on the lookout for it. Now, we do have a letter to drop off to Kapu, which we'll actually might as well go do. 
Um, is there anything here? Oh, we can talk to this guy. He has a little seat going. I can ham and nails with my frying pan! You idiot! And you call yourself a chef. Treat the tools of your trade with, res with more respect. But the city needs to be rebuilt. We all have our place in life, buddy. Yours is to cook delicious food for the people of the city. Hmm, he has a point. Hey, I guess. I mean, you should still kind of help out where needed. <laughs> I'd endure any hardship to join the Knights of Pluto. Man, you gotta aim higher, buddy. Is there anything we need over here? There, yeah, there's a completely different layout, new treasures, and I don't know where everything is, sadly. Uh, ooh, horn guy. Everybody gather around. It's time for the Reconstruction Committee meeting. We will decide what to put our on the reconstruction petition. A majority of vote will determine the policy to be submitted. Rebe <laughs> rebuild the bar is the first one. Boy, we're full of ideas, aren't we? Let's take a vote tomorrow. That's the proper attitude. Why do something today when you can do it tomorrow? All right, let's head over to Kapu and drop off that letter. There's a lot of people we can visit. This is the synthesis shop, I believe. Yeah. Like, the stores are still here, but they don't have their buildings, and I think actually they've been updated, too, to have the newest stuff. But yeah, a lot of places are destroyed, a lot of people are homeless now, to say the least. What are you doing here? I can't sleep at night. The attack was so terrifying. Yeah, and that house that was here before is no longer here. That, that the little girl's house, I think it's actually Ilya. What are you saying? He's handsome, but he's not exactly Mr. Personality. Oh, is this the flirting one? Yeah, to have a chance to meet a pretty flower like you in a destroyed city. Oh, I am the luckiest guy in the world. The smoothest guy as well. Can someone tell me how to keep track of Mr. Kitty, of my kitty uh, mittens? Oh, he's on the roof, buddy. That's right. That's right, we looked for this cat earlier. I was going to point this cat out earlier, but it's like one of those things I didn't even make the connection. All right, Kapu, I got your stuff. Here you go, buddy. My big brother sent me a letter, Kapu. Where has he been? I've been worried. Fossil Roo is very comfortable. I like it here, Kapu. We play hide and seek every day. The most important thing in life are to work hard and play hard. Kapu. I'm glad my big brother is doing well, Kapu. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. So we got another Kapu nut. We'll deliver that in the near future. All right, now that we delivered that message, got the Kapuna, let's go and get some other treasure around here. So we got an Amethyst. I believe if we talk to this girl, we'll get a card. I found a card in the rubble. You can have it. And somehow it survived the explosions. That's a pretty sturdy card. Maybe we should be using those as weapons. Got a Remedy. I think there was an ether back here that I missed when I grabbed the Sapphire. We'll be heading towards the castle in a little bit, though, to be honest, there's like... There's only a few items there that we need to get. Was it down here? There's like an ether somewhere. Uh, it's not really important. It's only an ether, but there should be one somewhere around here. Ah, well. Yeah, let's head towards the castle. We can't really actually go back in the castle. It's been completely destroyed. Well, okay, not completely destroyed. The Most of it has been completely destroyed. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we can't do that optional boss anymore, the Tantarian, is because the area is just well, gone. I thought that was the stairs. Silly me. Yeah, let's go to the castle. And let's speed you up a little bit, because good lord, you take forever at your job. I love the fast forward button. Even though it does break some of the mini games on here, it's still my favorite feature in this game. I like to start by rebuilding the kitchen. Yeah, you have weird priorities. I'd probably go with like the barracks or the queen's chamber. The Knights of Pluto did a great job evacuating the citizens. We managed to come out of this uh, come out of this with very few casualties. That's mostly true, actually, because of uh, Dagger's orders. They were able to get to the town safely and pretty much evacuate what was needed. I'm gonna write a book about rebuilding Alexandria. I mean. That makes sense, I guess. You want to document history. That's an understatement. And we can go We can go this way. This is where you would have entered the building if you uh, came up through uh, the harbor. 
Yeah, so this statue... I'm, did I actually show this earlier? I don't think I did. I think I grabbed the Leo and then I was like, we don't need to go here yet. Yeah, so this is the harbor that we could have gone to or landed at when we uh, brought the boat here. I like the little, uh, <laughs> little Neptune. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like Neptune or Poseidon uh, statue that brings them into the castle. Not really much we can do down here. I actually don't remember the last time I brought the boat here. All right, so yeah, now that we've explored this area, let's head back outside to our chocobo. Well, actually, I was gonna bring us over to uh, the new town we can get to with this chocobo, but I think, actually, let's go drop off this kapoo nut, and I can show you the back entrance to the Gizmaluk Grotto, which we can easily get to by, I think we just need to go pretty much around all this stuff. And let's look at the map, actually, because I always forget there. It's Northgate, Bermetia, there's Gizmaluk's uh, Grotto, which I always have trouble saying. So we want to head this way, and we should be able to just get in through the back area, which I believe is, like, right here? That makes sense. Yeah, because it's... There's the entrance down there, and this would have to be the... I thought there was a cave entrance, but let's try it. Yeah, there it is. Hey, buddy, how's it going? They keep like spawning little chocobos. And ether. That's pretty awful. You're right, it is. No, it's not dangerous to go outside, because I have a chocobo and level 5 death. No, I wanted to get on my chocobo, please. I didn't want to enter. I wanted to get on my chocobo. Dude, get on the chocobo. Come on. There we go. All right, yeah, let's head to the far northwest continent. Hey, there's Clara, or well, what's left of it. Odin did a, <laughs> oh man, Odin did a job on that place. So yeah, we wanna go all the way to that continent in the northwest. Uh, you don't have to do this now, but if you don't do it, like, right around this time, the items that they sell will change after a certain point in the story, which will mean you can't buy Mithril Swords anymore. And we want to get a few Mithril Swords because we're going to need them so, for some late game synthesis. And this is the last slash only point you can do, well, you can buy Mithril Swords. And actually, I think Mithril Armor as well. Not too sure on the Mithril armor. The Mithril swords, yes, that's pretty much gonna be done once we uh, advance a little further into the story. Some chocobo tracks there if you need them. But we're on a chocobo right now, so we don't actually need to use them. Now, if we came here by ship and we were digging up the chocographs or cracks in the mountain, then yeah, we would need them, but why would we take our ship if we have an ocean chocobo? Anyways, now entering Esto Gaza. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nah, sounds about right anyways. It's a nice little off the beaten path town that we don't have to come to right now and won't be directed to come back here for a little bit. Uh, I like little areas like this. Now the area is called the Shimmering Isles or the Shimmering Island. Uh, one of these NPCs around here actually says it. I just don't remember which one. I'm assuming you? Once in a while, yeah, okay, the Shimmering Island. Um, but yeah, I like little islands like this they don't really have them in many RPGs or any many games these days where you don't have to come to the place, but you can. All right, sorry about that. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh, uh, optional places that you can visit ahead of time. Uh, yeah, it's a kind of, it's not lost because, you know, like Tales of Zestaria had it. So it's like some RPGs and some games these days do let you do that. But for the most part, a linear game won't these days. And it's kind of sad. I miss my childhood. So yeah, this is the shop that has all the mythical gear. We're gonna buy not 20 of those. We'll buy like four more of those. Have a couple extra. Mithril claws, which we haven't had a chance to see yet. Mithril racket, we haven't had a chance to see yet. Uh, we got all the mythical gear. It's like the mithril village from freaking Final Fantasy IV, except the items that you get here are actually kind of useless, though, except for the mythical swords that will become really good in the future. 
I don't think there's really anything else for us to do here other than get those mithril items. You can talk to a bunch of people. There's not really much. We can, we're going to come here later in the game. But for now, there's like all you need to do is just buy. Oh, yeah, I'll rest here. I need the MP, actually. Uh, the buy the mithril sword and mithril claws and mithril racket, kind of. You don't really need to do the mithril racket because we're going to be finding one of those in the future. I think, to be honest, even though we, we never even got to the treasure tag, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And then next time is just going to be pretty much treasure hunting. And we should be able to get through all the treasure next time. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead to my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.